Federal Aged Care Minister Richard Colbeck joins me now from Devonport in Tasmania. Minister, thank you very much for your time. Uh, evening, Chris. How are you? I'm very, very well, but this has all the hallmarks from the data we've got from those aged care facilities in Melbourne of what we experienced back in March in Sydney, firstly at Macquarie Park and then at Penrith. Yeah, look, this is clearly going to be very difficult, uh, particularly two of the facilities that have got uh, high numbers of infections of residents internally. Uh, fortunately, most of the aged care facilities in Victoria that have infections, it's staff, not residents. So of the uh, 30 that we have live at the moment, 24 are only staff and it hasn't spread to the residents. But as you say, Menorock and Estia are both uh, genuinely concerning uh, with the numbers of infections because we know the mortality rate that this virus brings, particularly to older Australians who are vulnerable with a number of comorbidities. The sad part about all of this is that the families following this, the daughters, the sons, the grandsons, the granddaughters, they cannot have access to their loved ones while this is going on, can they? No, look, it's, um, it's a highly infectious disease, uh, highly infectious virus, and so uh, protecting the people inside, trying to uh, prevent the spread, spread within the facilities means that we have to limit access. All of the staff uh, working in the facilities are operating with full PPE. We're looking to isolate all of the residents so that we prevent further spread. And, of course, uh, at the same tri time, uh, looking to provide the best possible care for those who have contracted the disease. Is there a link, do you think, or have you been told, between those that are living in the towers, the 10 towers, that were under testing over the past two weeks and those that worked in aged care. I say that because the BBC had a report this morning about the connection between foreign nationals on visas working in the aged care sector and the fact that they had... They were in hotspots. They, 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 they lived in hotspots, they went to work, they brought it to the aged care facility until, of course, they were symptomatic and they realised they had to go home to isolate. Is that a similar situation in Victoria? Well, clearly the number of incidents that we're seeing right now is a function, directly a function of community spread in Victoria. Uh, that's, this is the place where uh, we're seeing the level of activity. It's grown significantly over the last seven days. Uh, so those 30 cases have occurred uh, over the last seven days. So it's very early uh, in, in the outbreak in that context. We're standing up all of the resources we possibly can. We're working very closely with the Department uh, of Health in Victoria uh, to make sure that the resources required are available. Uh, but, of course, then you have a number of the other restrictions that are in place uh, that, that are making some of those things difficult, including uh, potentially bringing people in from other states because of the restrictions that exist there. So we're just working to make sure all the facilities that have outbreaks have all the... Uh, resources that they need so that they can properly isolate, look after, prevent further spread within the facilities, but also continue to look after the residents that have contracted the virus. All right. It's a terribly complex operation going on at the moment. Thank you so much for your time, Minister. Thanks for your time, Chris.